a big event is coming guaranteed. This is not a scary video unless you maybe have not been paying attention to some things that I'm going to talk about. This is getting very serious. And as you know, I'm always going to show you that you are absolutely totally in control of this whole journey that you personally are on right now and what you contribute to the collective. But I want to talk about what that is in this event that's guaranteed. You ready for this? Don't be afraid. It's okay. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Have you ever said, oh, my neighbor lets his dog chase the bunny? <sighs> People are so silly. Okay, do you ever say your name and you think, that's weird, who is that? <laughs> no, I'm not losing it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just can't associate with being human. It's a very, very challenging journey. You chose it. It's all planned out, but free will exists, so you don't have to follow through with anything. So whatever you chose to be right now, look in the mirror, that's what you chose. And what it came with is absolutely 100% your participation. This is not imposed on you. There are billions and trillions of endless life forms out there. Of course there are. We have to get our head out of the sand and look around and realize that this universe and beyond is teeming with endless creations. Why is that so difficult for some people to understand? I don't know. We've been probably because we've been told different, right? I have a new master class that came out. And if you guys want to go there, you can go to landeranga.com and sign up for it. I talk about the fact that we inherited fear. What is that? You've been programmed by the density of the planet. The game is to break through it and to reconnect, you never really lose a connection, to that amazing self that you are. A higher self exists at all times, right now. You can talk to that higher self, I have. I've experienced some very, very strange things that I never understood. You may have too and it's gonna happen more and more, why? because more and more people are going into the Great Awakening. Now, I talk about the Great Reset sometimes. I'm redefining what some other people, groups, are calling something that could be somewhat negative. The Reset is that we get a do-over. You cannot make a mistake, but I want you to know what's coming. It's inevitable. It was part of what we signed up for. It is guaranteed for one reason. We have brought ourselves to a tipping point. And you could say, I didn't. You're not an individual. You are the one and you are the collective. You are the person that you despise. You are the animal. You are the beautiful planet that you're throwing your garbage on or spraying your chemicals on. And I hope that you're paying attention to that now because it all counts. You are the very thing that you look at, speak to, experience. It's all just one energy field. That's a really tough thing for a lot of people to uh, wrap their head around. So don't, you don't have to try to do that. What I want you to understand is when the tipping point happens, all these little things going on, and I know you're probably thinking, well, this big pandemic, that's not a little thing. It really is. We can survive that. In fact, that was an event that was designed to bring us together and demonstrate what we're doing to each other. It was the ultimate separation, wasn't it? And everything is a reflection back of what we're doing and putting out into that collective. Illness, not taking care of our nature, of one another, doing things that are not placing others first and foremost. That's the separation. The more we go away from oneness, the more we become ill and go into the tipping point. If you argue with somebody, if you judge somebody, if you think somebody's wrong, if you are pointing fingers to people in power, you are part of the separation. That is neither right nor wrong, but it's not a place you really want to be in when we go into the event. What's the event? No man, no woman, no one, not even the sun, 
will know the date and time. Why do I say that? Because we create it at every moment. And the more of us that go into that awakened state, the more we change that future event. There will be events happening. They already are, of course, we know that. Happening to demonstrate to us that we can no longer tolerate this bad behavior. I was on my, with my uh, best friend last night on the phone and I said, it, doesn't it blow your mind that we could live on a planet where people are, are still killing each other? And that we're standing back feeling like we can't do anything. What do we do? It's insanity. And that's the, the darkness that the rest of us have to override with peace and solutions. Now, you're probably saying, what are those? we got to get creative here. Those of us who are dedicating our lives to raising the frequency of this planet, there's just so much we can do. But if you're not participating, we can't shift that tipping point into something greater. The tipping point is inevitable because it's the accumulation of the negativity on this planet that is allowing us to triumph. It's part of the game. And we have come here to change what has been really a very long run of darkness. We know it now. We're tired of it. Aren't you exhausted? I know most people, they just, they can't, they don't care anymore. They don't want to tolerate any, anything anymore. I talked about, you know, people that are moving, uh, getting away. There's nothing wrong with that. But please don't disengage. There's an event coming. I can't tell you what it is. No person knows this. Now, you may know people that see the future. I want to tell you something about this, and I've talked about this with channelers and whatever. You know, I, I believe that there are many, many talented people out there, but I want you to remember something. There's no one thing in stone. There's no one answer. There's no one reality. So it's useless, pointless to argue anything. There are endless futures. So some people can see a future that may never happen, just like Nostradamus and Edgar Cayce have, have seen futures that just didn't happen, predicted uh, Japan would be underwater, Edgar Cayce did. There was an event uh, years ago, but it was nowhere near what he said. Why? That was a great sign that our frequency was shifting. So something that could have been way worse didn't happen. The same thing can happen with us, so we'll see it as a, a sign for us to rectify these situations and to handle them differently, right? We cannot continue to be ego-driven. Somebody was saying, my friend who said, people ignore her, and I said, why do you need somebody to, to pay attention to you? I'd be perfectly fine if people ignored me. <laughs> I, have you ever gone to the grocery store and like people are walking past you like, uh, did you not see me? And you're like, just, you know, like you've disappeared. <laughs> Hey, listen, that's the ego. So we have to start recognizing that when you go through these thoughts, if you're worried about this and that, 100% ego. 100%. You're creating a story in your head. And that is you're unhappy with certain things. You're unhappy with other people. You're unhappy with whatever. Completely controlled by you. That's 100% coming out of your head. That's ego. A lot of people say, no, I don't, I don't know if I can believe that there's no good or bad. And I said, really? Well, if the one created everything, are you calling it wrong? There's a purpose for everything. Just because a human mind can't comprehend that that dark side has a purpose. As I shared with you, you can be perfectly happy in the ocean as a fish until somebody pulls you out. You would never know that there was something different that could kill you. Hey, listen, being awakened on planet Earth, one of the big, biggest challenges because you're not caught up in density. You have to view it, and that's painful. It is, because you know that this could be so different, and you desire it to be, but you also know that it has to play out. So I want you to prepare, and I'm not talking about going and hoarding and, hoarding and getting food in here. That's, that actually will be a very negative effect, not only for you, but everybody else. You can actually create a negative uh, uh, event. I don't want you to do that. I want you to absolutely give and enjoy life and love the material world and but not get attached to it so you don't have to be a monk going off you don't have to go to extremes be entrenched in it even if it's in the countryside nothing wrong with that as i said 
But don't do it because you're trying to escape. Because you'll never escape. You'll have to come back under some kind of circumstances and you have the best opportunity right now to change absolutely everything in your life. So you don't have to brace yourself for anything. You just have to, you just have to pay attention. What am I thinking? What am I manifesting? Load up my uh, free mobile app. If you guys are signed up for my free video list, first thing you get is my free mobile app catching you. What am I manifesting? What was that thought? Oops, I was manifesting uh, judgment, negativity. You are equally as beautiful and perfect as anyone walking this face of the earth. You have to be. We all come from one thing. There's no uneven distribution of anything. There's just diversity and variety. It's beautiful. Can you celebrate it? Maybe you're uncomfortable with some of that. Get over it. <laughs> you know what I have to say? Such pile. <laughs> all right, so no one knows. You can look up all the videos you want. No one person. They're all different stories because no one person has the answer. You create it when you know this. You don't get out of the challenges. Just buck up and, uh, you know, buckle up. And uh, let's make it happen, my friend. You ready? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you. <laughs> Listen, trust me, this is like a flash in the pan. <laughs> We're all going to be on the other side going, wow, wow, woo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Blessings to you, my friend. <laughs> Namaste.